This spring weather makes the perfect time to spend working on the yard if you like that kind of thing. Exactly. For those who would rather enjoy the sunshine by playing, hiring lawn crews is an option. There are things to think about, though, while looking for the right team. It used to be that everyone cut their own grass. Not anymore. For many people, the days of mowing lawn might be in the past. According to a recent Angie's List survey, 48% of the members said they're going to outsource their lawn care this year. Some people are simply too busy to keep their yard looking nice. Others, like Tammy Futa, want an expert in charge. We were wanting to make sure that we had green grass. That was the objective. The Futas moved from a condo three years ago to a home with a brand new yard that needed a lot of help. It's hard to take care of a lawn, even though it's not a huge yard. It's a lot of work and time to maintain and to understand what's going on with your lawn and what it needs. Matt Caldwell had the Futas soil tested and then developed a detailed plan for mowing and fertilizing, the two most common services his company provides. A lot of times we can apply an application for less than what it would cost you to go down and buy the product and the equipment to do so. Most companies offer seasonal contracts for mowing and fertilizing, get on-site quotes from three different providers and ask if different services like grub control and aeration are included or cost extra. Also, find out if the same person will be servicing your yard each visit. It's very important to have the same technician on your lawn each time. They know your expectations, they know what you're expecting, they know the property where there's high spots, low spots, uh, where there may be some troubled areas. Angie says to make sure you trust the company since most work when you aren't home. Check the references from long-term clients and ask about their insurance. Also, ask them for an invoice after every visit detailing everything crews did.